we are going to look at React Native crashes and adding custom data to those crashes. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a little bit of code here to understand what's happening. So this is a React Native application uh, that's based on React. And here you can see after installing the New Relic NPM, I've imported the New Relic React Native agent import. Then I've created a method here called do breadcrumb. And basically what do breadcrumb does is it's going to set a breadcrumb for shoe color, size, and shoelaces. And what, then we're going, and then we create a button here to actually add the breadcrumb. Now you can add as many breadcrumbs as you want in your interactions, but we're just using one for the demo today. I think it's important to understand that uh, when we're going to crash the app, and then you're going to see the result of this breadcrumb inside of that crash. So let's take a look at that. So I have my application here, and I'm launching it. Now I'm going to my custom data. And here you can see where I'm doing custom data breadcrumbs. So I've executed that a couple times uh, just to add some data. Now we're going to go back here to our demo. And now we're going to crash the app. So here, I've now crashed the app with React Native JavaScript. Not only is it a, a native crash, but it's also a React crash. And we've made sure to record this crash information again. So let's go take a look at what that crash looks like inside of New Relic. Ah, you can see the crash already showed up. This is fantastic because I don't have to wait 15 minutes for my crashes to show up. I can literally have the crashes show up as they're occurring. So let's take a look at that crash analytics. So you can see we have three crashes occurring. And I'm going to click on this here. And I can see my reference error crash. And now I can see what I call my event detail. So I can scroll down here. I can see I launched the application, which fired up the React activity, which went to the main menu. Here is where we did the custom data. And this is where I've added the custom data to the event path. This allows me to see any custom data as part of the crash to help to enable me to be successful when looking at crashes. Along with that, we also have all of the supporting data here as far as what type of JavaScript, what version of JavaScript bundle you're using, which means what is the version of your code and other important elements. I hope you found this episode useful. Look forward to seeing you again in another episode. Thank you.